Well, this is the right way for starting this talk. I'm very happy to be uh, with you. And uh, of course, I hope to, that we will uh, be able to, to uh, meet in person in a, in a, sh in a short time from, from now, but uh, at this moment, we don't uh, uh, see yet uh, the end of this difficult period. So uh, let, uh, what I'm going to share with you are some uh, all the new results about uh, segregation, interaction of species, uh, and related free boundary problems. Uh, okay, let me start with some motivation and, uh, uh, and maybe the the. Uh, uh, the most important motivations, uh, motivation come from uh, 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 competition diffusion systems with lot cavalter interactions and uh, symmetric and asymmetric uh, uh, competition rates. In general, uh, a very uh, popular model for uh, 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 population dynamics uh, are, uh, is given in terms of a system of reaction diffusion equations where there is a, a, yeah, evolution, diffusion, reaction. And uh, uh, let me concentrate on the, on, the, on the competition term, which is uh, uh, maybe, and in many uh, models, it will be in a form of a quadratic uh, polynomial. The, the interspecific competition rates are uh, uh, form a matrix that we will think uh, to be uh, a constant matrix with the possibly uh, symmetric or, or asymmetric en entries, but we will assume that they are all positive, uh, all positive. And uh, this is a, 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 an old uh, uh, simulation, a plot of all uh, of the distribution of three population on the same disk when uh, the, the coefficients bij become larger and larger the population tends to segregate uh, to occupy mutually disjoint uh, subdomains uh, and to form a no one zone which will in fact converge to a nodal uh, uh, zone when beta goes to infinity and in this case i would like you to note uh, the, the geometric structure of this uh, uh, triple uh, junction uh, set, uh, which has uh, in, seems, and in fact will be, be proved to enjoy ni nice geometrical properties. Uh, in particular, it is uh, made uh, of uh, three smooth arcs, uh, which uh, meet uh, at one point of the domain uh, with, uh, uh, in, in a very regular manner, okay? Uh, with definite uh, definite tangents, and uh, again uh, with large and uh, symmetric competition rates, uh, we can do the we can play the same game with five population, and we plot uh, the uh, with joint plot uh, the level set of the of the five uh, distribution functions. Let's say one, two, three, four, five, and we see the emergence of these uh, free, free boundaries of these nodal sets, uh, which are rather regular. And uh, uh, OK, so in general, uh, we will uh, consider um, this type of uh, competition diffusion systems. Uh, and we will focus on different possible types of competition, trying to understand what is uh, the role of the uh, particular type of interaction. Uh, usually, um, the, the UI is uh, the, the density of the art population. Then we have diffusion rates, DI, interspecific competition rates. Uh, and then we have internal force. In general, we can think of a logistic behavior. And but in fact, let's say that uh, in all this uh, talk, uh, we can uh, uh, assume that the system, the system has reached an equilibrium in time, so a stationary configuration, and uh, the reaction will play very little role. So we will just uh, neglect it in many many cases. 
Okay. And uh, uh, another uh, po entry point uh, to this uh, uh, subject uh, uh, concern uh, uh, the configuration that minimizes uh, uh, gross Pitayevsky type energy, which has uh, uh, an internal energy part and uh, an interaction part. Uh, this case, uh, uh, and, and then and maybe you can minimize the ed energy subject to some mass constraint. And uh, if you neglect uh, once more the uh, potential Fi and you let uh, beta ij go to infinity in a way that uh, the interaction, the role of the interaction energy becomes uh, that uh, of segregating the wave function phi i, then uh, you end up with a problem where you uh, minimize, okay, if, if, you, if you minimize uh, over f phi i to the, uh, over with, with a mass constraint and uh, this uh, um, uh, results in a disjoint support uh, properties, then you are minimizing uh, basically the first eigenvalue. The sum of the first eigenvalue of uh, a partition of your domain in k cells. And uh, here there, there, there are uh, uh, simulation that has been done uh, for this uh, type of gross Pitayevsky energy, which is associated with uh, 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 Bose Einstein condensates in multiple spin states uh, with uh, highly repulsive interaction potentials. Okay, and, uh, but he, if, you, if you look uh, at the uh, optimal partition problems for the Schlegel values, so you, are, you wish to minimize uh, a combination of the eigenvalue of the first eigenvalues with respect to all possible uh, partitions, then again you see the emergence of uh, three boundaries of uh, uh, nodal sets which, which are part of your, of, of your unknown. And uh, uh, you see th that uh, these are, are, are simul numerical simulation by uh, Bogosel and, and Bonai uh, Noel, uh, you see that uh, there are uh, uh, interesting geometric uh, features of this nodal set. Uh, in particular, uh, you see that uh, uh, a, a common feature is that uh, uh, the, the nodal set, the, 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 this, uh, the, this uh, uh, interfaces form um, uh, a set of uh, uh, closed uh, of, of regular curves up to uh, a number of, of points uh, where there are uh, the, the curves uh, uh, meet in a, a rather regular uh, uh, way. And uh, they, the, 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 the people uh, uh, who have done numerics on this have also tried uh, with more and more nodal components. Uh, or you can also try to minimize partition with respect to higher eigenvalues. And this was done by, uh, um, uh, by, by, by a team with uh, Eduardo Ude. Okay, so these are where motivations for what I'm going to, to, to uh, uh, discuss today. Uh, uh, in general, what is, uh, what is important is uh, that we have a, a reaction, a diffusion, and competitive interactions. And so our questions, uh, main questions are, what happens uh, when uh, the inter-specific competition rates uh, go to infinity with the same rate? So uh, if uh, there is a coefficient beta that goes to infinity. And uh, uh, then the second question is whether there is a, a common regularity shared by all the solutions in, with uh, 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 independently of beta for beta large. And uh, so of course uh, connected to this is uh, whether we can expect convergence to some segregated limiting profile 
And finally, what is uh, the regularity of the limit profiles uh, and uh, of the common nodal set? Uh, and we will see, we will try to understand uh, which uh, elements uh, of the problems play the uh, uh, major roles in, in, in the answer to, this, uh, to, this, uh, to these questions, okay? Uh, as I said, uh, we will consider only stationary case uh, with all equal diffusions uh, as uh, in uh, this, uh, this uh, uh, equation, okay? Uh, what is segregation? We, we say that uh, there is segregation uh, when uh, you have a, a family of solution depending in beta, for, depending on beta, and when beta goes to infinity, there, there are limits for, there, there are at least by uh, up to subsequent some limit. And this limit uh, is uh, uh, point was almost everywhere, just to give an example. And uh, uh, the limit uh, has uh, uh, the, 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 the component of the limiting vector have disjoint supports. Okay, with some abuse because supports usually involve some topological property, but we will uh, just uh, think of uh, having disjoint supports, uh, whether the set positivity sets uh, are disjoint, at least uh, uh, up to zero uh, measure uh, uh, subsets. Okay, and then uh, we will address uh, the questions of what kind of convergence, uh, what is the regularity, what are the regularity properties of the limiting profiles, uh, and what is the, the geometry of the nodal set? Okay, and this uh, has been the object, these uh, points of uh, 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 nowadays a rather uh, uh, rich literature, starting from earlier papers by Denser, Yu, Wang, and Zhang, and then uh, um, by um, people in my, my uh, connected to, to, to my research group, uh, the group of Caffarelli, and uh, uh, other. Uh, uh, people uh, in, in, let's say, in, in, in the years uh, uh, 210, more or less. Okay, so uh, let's go back to the, to the, uh, to this uh, uh, segregation phenomenon. And we see that already in one dimension, it is significant. Uh, for example, we can think of having on a, on a line, on a seg segment AB, uh, on an interval a b two comp competing uh, fun densities u one and u two which solve this uh, this uh, uh, system and then it's not uh, difficult to realize that because uh, beta is uh, opposing to the uh, diffusion and the, uh, then uh, the in uh, in the limit when beta goes to infinity you see the uh, two densities uh, uh, converging to profiles with this joint support. In this case, in the one dimensional case, this, the geometry of the interface is really uh, uh, not, not, re not really significant because it's just made of points. But uh, when uh, the, the dimension is at least two, two, you see the emergence of two free boundaries. And uh, you can imagine that uh, this uh, the, uh, determines a, a partition of your, uh, of your uh, two-dimensional set. And uh, so you can distinguish between uh, uh, regular uh, points of the interface where uh, two uh, uh, of the, on, only two of the densities are interacting and uh, multiple junction where more than three or more are, uh, are interacting. Okay, uh, okay, so let, let, let's try to, to, to understand what, what are uh, the, the elements that come in, into play. We can uh, think of having a quadratic interaction, okay, like in Vot lotka volterra uh, model, uh, which are symmetric. Okay, so the competition rates are, um, are symmetric 
uh, with respect to the po population of the exchange of the role of the population. And then uh, if you go back to the gross Pitayevsky, to the problem of minimizing uh, the gross Pitayevsky energy, you see that uh, it is uh, uh, very interesting also the case uh, of a cubic interaction. This will be a cubic interaction. This is more or less uh, the uh, Euler-Lagrange equation uh, associated to the uh, minimization of the, of the uh, gross pitayevsky energy of the bosons and condensates. And then uh, this uh, uh, system has a variational structure when uh, the co coefficients are, again, symmetric. Otherwise, uh, has not. And in general, there will be a, a, some difference between, uh, we will try to investigate and, and to highlight the difference uh, from the, uh, uh, among the symmetric and the, the asymmetric cases, uh, both uh, in the case of quadratic uh, interactions uh, and in the case uh, of cubic or in general polynomial uh, interactions. And then we can uh, also try to think uh, what, um, uh, about the role of uh, the diffusion, of the type of diffusion. So, for example, we can uh, change as a parameter uh, a power, uh, a fractional power of the, of the Laplacian. Okay, this problem may have possess or not a variational structure depending on the relation between the exponents uh, p and q and uh, the uh, symmetry or less uh, of the of the uh, of the of the uh, matrix of the of the interactions and then if we want to uh, understand it, uh, even more to uh, to uh, deepen the role of the various aspects we can change the interaction this uh, big, uh, large, uh, competitive interaction, and uh, uh, think uh, uh, of uh, putting some, some distance on the, in the interaction. So to say that the, the i-th population and the j-th population are not uh, 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 interacting directly on a single point, uh, but uh, there is uh, uh, some distance, uh, uh, so they, they compete uh, at, a, at a given distance. And uh, finally, we can also think that uh, the, the different population uh, have a diffusion according with different uh, uh, diffusion operators. And uh, again, and then of course, you can uh, do uh, play in, uh, in all possible uh, uh, ways between uh, this, uh, this model. Okay. And uh, so the questions uh, I, we, we can try to address, uh, the general philosophical questions is uh, whether the particular expression of the interactor, interaction matters, uh, quadratic and cubic, uh, uh, pointwise uh, and at a distance uh, and uh, uh, a connected the problem is whether there will be a variational principle uh, for the limiting profiles or the limiting partitions and as we uh, see this involves uh, uh, and the, the understanding of the behavior in the symmetric and asymmetric case. Okay, so what this means uh, when, when the, the, the interaction matrix is symmetric or asymmetric. And uh, finally, uh, what is uh, the, rule, the role of the diffusion, uh, of the diffusion rules? Okay, let me start with the, um, uh, the, Let's say uh, maybe the, the, the not is not the easiest, but uh, the most basic uh, uh, case of uh, uh, variational segregation uh, phenomenon. Uh, and in this case, we have some uh, we have given some Lagrangians, and uh, we minimize uh, the internal energy with respect to, uh, to all uh, vectors of uh, k functions having disjoint supports. 
okay? This can be seen uh, as, if you like, as a, a harmonic mapping, a, a problem of, of harmonic maps with non-regular targets because uh, the vector is constrained to stay on, to, to take values on some bunch of lines in the uh, Euclidean space. And then, uh, so we, we minimize uh, uh, this, uh, this functional among all classes of segregated states uh, subject to some boundary and possibly some positivity condition. This may or not play a role as uh, we will see. And then if you, you we can uh, uh, summarize uh, the main results uh, about uh, uh, this uh, minimizer. Uh, in a single statement, and uh, uh, the statement is is the following: uh, If the, the the potentials of the internal force are reasonably smooth, uh, the minimization problem has a unique segregated stationary configuration, which is uh, Lipschitz in the sense that all the components are Lipschitz. And if you look at the nodal set, then you can uh, uh, write uh, the, no, this nodal set uh, as the, the union of two disjoint components. Uh, the first uh, component uh, is uh, um, regular part, uh, sigma of u, which is a collection of uh, smooth or relatively smooth hypersurfaces, at least of class C1 alpha. And uh, what re well, the, the, the remainder is uh, small in Hausdorff dimension. Uh, has a uh, Hausdorff dimension, which is uh, at most uh, n minus two, and in two dimension is a locally finite set. But then there is more, and the, which is in fact uh, the key of the validity of this result. Uh, if you look uh, at the, the, the regular part of the free boundary, then, and the, at, at this point, at, at the, each point, uh, there, there are two components uh, alive, and these two components uh, uh, reflect uh, infinitesimally across uh, this boundary. So the gradient uh, of, uh, let's say, that of one component uh, and the gradient of the opposite component at the free boundary must be equal. Uh, in two dimension, uh, we have the same, but we, we, we have uh, in addition that uh, this uh, 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 multiple junction, at, this, at the multiple junction, the curve uh, meet uh, with uh, an equal angle property. Okay, what is, uh, let's say, the, the, the spirit of this result is uh, uh, that uh, the very same properties uh, uh, are enjoyed by a solution of uh, one stationary Schrodinger equation of this type uh, with an, il uh, an L infinity uh, uh, potential. So uh, what happens is that, uh, well, it is not true that uh, the nodal set uh, of this uh, uh, limiting of, of this uh, uh, energy minimizing configuration are the nodal domains of one solution to the Schrodinger equation. But the two, the two nodal sets of uh, these uh, objects, this uh, uh, partition and uh, the nodal partition of one single solution of the Schrodinger equation enjoy exactly the same geometrical properties. Again, there is a regular part. In this case, the regular part is uh, uh, that uh, of uh, um, is uh, the, the, the set uh, where the, 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 the nodal part of the nodal set where the gradient is not zero and uh, uh, the singular part, which is uh, small in dimension. Okay. And then uh, what happens uh, if we uh, think uh, at the, uh, uh, for example, the Gross-Pitayevsky uh, problem 
of um, for uh, the, the, the bosons and condensate in multiple spin states, then uh, the second natural step is to add to the, uh, uh, or if you like, to replace uh, the, um, the condition of having this joint support with a penalization term and uh, letting then uh, the parameter beta go to infinity. Okay, and then try the next time it tries to connect the behavior, the asymptotics of the minimizer or of the critical points of this functional to the problems, to the, to the properties of, of uh, uh, the, uh, uh, the asymptotic properties of this, uh, uh, um, to, the, to the properties of the, of the uh, variational problems, problem I have uh, described uh, 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 so far. And then, uh, so another point which is uh, interesting is uh, these asymptotics. And uh, uh, so we uh, were able to, to derive asymptotic estimates uh, uniform in beta for solutions uh, of this type of uh, systems uh, when uh, beta goes to infinity. And uh, what is important is uh, that uh, they hold uh, uniform bounds in older, uh, in, in, sorry, uniform uh, uh, bounds in older spaces uh, so that uh, there are uh, in fact uh, uh, li limits uh, limiting configurations, which are also uh, C0 alpha. And actually one can prove that uh, this mini, mini, uh, this, uh, uh, limiting uh, configurations uh, are segregated and uh, their nodal set uh, enjoys exactly the same properties we have uh, stated for minimizers. So you take uh, any family of solution to the Euler-Lagrange equations to, of the penalized uh, problem. And uh, in fact, uh, you can bring them to the limit in every space of all their continuous functions, finding something which is, uh, uh, which is, uh, um, uh, has, uh, enjoys again, the same nodal properties. And, uh, what is important, which is at, at this stage is not yet a conclusion, is uh, that uh, in this case, we, uh, uh, we can observe that the, these basic rules of spa, uh, spatial uh, segregation do not depend on the particular form of the interaction. I have to specify this, uh, this statement in the sense that in the limit, in the singular limit, uh, you cannot uh, distinguish from the geometrical properties of the, of the nodal set, uh, whether your interaction was uh, cubic or was quadratic, uh, in both cases with, with, uh, with symmetric co uh, competition rates, okay? And in fact, we have this theorem uh, that say, okay, now let's change the model. Uh, now we are taking the same problem as before with the cubic, with the quadratic interactions. And uh, well, we have exactly the, the, the very same, same statement as before. There are, uh, uh, there are bounds in, uh, uh, in C0 alpha for every alpha between zero and one. Uh, there is so there is uh, up to subsequences uh, strong convergence. The uh, the limiting uh, is a segregated configuration, and especially the nodal set. Its nodal set has all the properties established for minimizers. Okay. So you see that you have the very same theorem, both uh, for the cubic and the quadratic cases. In, we, under the assumption that uh, the competition, uh, the, the matrix of the competition coefficients is symmetric in both cases. And in the limit, 
you see the, uh, that the uh, variational uh, principle for the limiting profiles, uh, because the limiting profiles are actually describe the very same, uh, um, the very same uh, uh, configurations, uh, then uh, you see the, 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 there is a, a, a variational principle in the, in the limit. Okay, uh, this is, so uh, uh, now we are trying to uh, chase and to, to, to catch cases where, when this is not true. So in what, in what remains of this, uh, of this talk, uh, I will try to give examples where this is not true. Okay, so when uh, uh, the, the, the different type of interaction in fact matter and uh, uh, give uh, 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 and show some uh, relevant difference uh, when you change the shape, the, the, the form of the interaction. And I will be more precise, precise in a moment. Okay, so uh, the first, uh, the first uh, 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 remark that I would like to, to do is uh, what happens uh, when uh, you uh, consider the quadratic coefficient, uh, the quadratic uh, interaction case uh, but you switch from symmetric to asymmetric competition matrices. Okay. Uh, uh, okay. First, uh, as I said before, when uh, there is a, a symmetry, we have uh, these uh, uh, bounds uh, in elder nor in all in elder norms uh, in uh, for for all exponents. Oh, sorry. I have. Uh... I have pushed some, something happened. Okay, let me go back where we were. Okay. We were probably here. Okay. So in the symmetric case, we have uh, uh, elder continuity of, uh, 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 of the penalized, uh, of the solution to the penalized problems. And uh, we have, uh, I am repeating the statement uh, of uh, the uh, regularity for the limiting profile. And uh, the, uh, the uh, re reflection law uh, at the regular part of the boundary. Okay. Now, in fact, uh, it is uh, the, the, this reflection law that uh, entails uh, the regularity. Uh, there might be also also singular point, and uh, uh, let me uh, uh, stress that at singular point, the uh, arcs and the nodal arcs meet uh, with the asymptotic pro properties property which. Uh, uh, says uh, that uh, the, uh, they share the angle in equal parts. Okay. Well, what happens is that uh, in the asymmetric case, uh, this uh, uh, regular uh, picture around uh, the, the uh, uh, singular point, the multiple uh, intersection po point, the clustering points uh, is destroyed. And uh, in, the in the asymmetric case uh, in two dimensions, okay, then uh, we have uh, uh, an, ex uh, uh, an expansion for some combination of the, of the, of the uh, limiting, limiting uh, uh, of the combination of, the, of this limiting profile, of the components of the limiting profile. And what is important is that it results from this uh, this uh, uh, expansion that the nodal sets uh, in the asymmetric case are not anymore are not anymore regular arcs meeting in a very regular manner at, at uh, uh, tri triple or or multiple junction, but they are lo logarithmic spirals. Okay, so they will turn 
in, a, uh, in an inf infinitely many times around the, the tri triple, uh, triple junction point. Okay, so this is to give a first example of what happens when you change from uh, uh, symmetric to asymmetric cases, uh, interaction matrix. Okay, so you find again a partition, but this part partition cannot be optimal with respect to any Lagrangian energy. Okay, why? Because in fact, uh, the theory I have, uh, I have uh, 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 um, uh, told you before about the minimizers uh, is very general and works for any Lagrangian energy. So uh, optimal, optimal uh, partitions which uh, are related to, uh, to energy minimizing configuration cannot have nodal lines, cannot have uh, nodal lines which are uh, asymptotically uh, spirals. So there must be asymptotically uh, arcs uh, meeting with a definite, uh, a definite uh, uh, tangent. Okay, so um, still there are some reg kind of regularity properties of this uh, nodal set. Okay, uh, mainly one can prove that uh, in two dimensions, uh, singular points are isolated and have a finite uh, vanishing order. And uh, this, fin this um, finite uh, vanishing order there's cannot be whatever but they are quantized and uh, the regular part uh, of, the, of the free boundary is smooth. Okay, let me go to two other uh, similar problems uh, that uh, show some, some interesting uh, um, uh, properties with respect uh, to the type of interaction. Uh, we consider the minimization problem as before but now we don't uh, we are we don't ask only that the supports are disjoint, but we minimize the internal energies uh, over all configuration where the the di distance between the supports is at least one. Okay, so we and then we have a, a subject to boundary to boundary conditions and so. On. Okay, so. You, you think you have U1 uh, positive, let's say U2 positive, but the distance between the two supports is always at least one. There must be some space uh, in the, uh, between the two. And uh, this problem can be uh, somehow seen as the limiting problem of a family of uh, uh, penalized uh, functionals where the uh, interaction is uh, modeled by uh, a, a convolution, a convolution with uh, the uh, uh, kernel, which is uh, just uh, the, the characteristic function of the unit ball. And then you have some uh, penalization uh, parameter beta that goes to infinity. And uh, it is, uh, one can prove that, uh, well, there are minimizers, uh, these minimizers solve uh, this uh, equation. This family is uh, uniformly bounded and uh, in fact uh, converge strongly in H1 up to subsequence to some limit and the limit uh, has, uh, is a vector whose component have uh, satisfied the constraint that I have uh, uh, described before. Uh, this minimizer is, the, the limit is in fact, uh, uh, or the limits are in fact minimizers uh, for uh, the limiting prop, uh, the limiting functional. So there is gamma convergence or a good convergence. Okay. So, but we can now, uh, of course, we would like to describe in a better way this uh, three boundary. For example, here we have a two component system. This is one. And uh, well, in, in fact, this turned out to be a bit harder problem that we expected. So we had, we were able 
in this paper to, to find some, some properties. Uh, but uh, in fact, uh, many, many aspects rem remain open. Well, at first, uh, if we take uh, this minimizer, uh, we can say that uh, each component is su su subharmonic and it is a solution in the interior of the positivity set, as i is a positivity set for the i component. And then here comes the first uh, good news is that uh, the positivity set satisfy an, a uniform exterior sphere condition in omega uh, in a reasonable sense. This is uh, somehow, let's say, natural because uh, of this uh, distance, uh, uh, lower bound on the distance of one uh, uh, positivity set to the, to the other. Uh, in fact, uh, the, the distance between uh, uh, these positivity sets is always exactly one. And uh, okay, from this uh, uh, start, uh, starting consideration, one uh, uh, can uh, obtain Lipschitz continuity of the, of the uh, solutions of the UI that uh, the Lebesgue measure of the free boundary is zero. Look that this is a, is, is a very rough statement, uh, okay? Uh, because, and uh, uh, we can say that uh, uh, must have uh, strictly smaller than n Hauser dimension, but n is the full, dim the dimension of the full space, uh, we, we, we would, would expect to have at least a, a Hauser dimension at most n minus one to be a bit happy. And uh, uh, as I said, the, the, uh, the uh, supports have uh, exact distance one, uh, uh, exact mutually, mutually, uh, mutual distance one. Okay, well, now we try to, to understand what are the extremality conditions at regular points. Uh, what is a regular point uh, is uh, a point uh, where the uh, curvature, is, all the principal curvature uh, are strictly smaller than one. Okay, this uh, has uh, the following uh, uh, meaning is uh, that uh, at a regular portion of the free boundary, each point, okay, uh, each point of uh, in one component has uh, exactly one point in the the uh, uh, neighboring uh, support which realizes the uh, uh, distance one. Okay, so we have a one to one corresponding of uh, points uh, at the two uh, 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 at the two uh, opposite sides of uh, the strip strip of length one which separates uh, the two supports okay and this uh, in this uh, 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 gives uh, a condition on the curvature of the of the of the ra uh, radii uh, uh, of curvature of at, at the point uh, and finally, of the uh, principal curvature of the two points. Okay, you can imagine that here you have a point, here you have another point, and of course, uh, the, um, uh, the, the there is a there is a relation between the uh, the radius of the two of the two osculating circle. Okay, and now let's look at uh, the uh, reflection law. Which is uh, which comes from uh, in, from this type of equation. Okay, so now we have uh, two two parts, two components. So let's say U i and uh, U j. You have we have a point x zero and a point y zero, uh, which are which correspond each other. We have the principal curvature at, at the two points which are related. Okay, and then we can say something about the normal derivative of the uh, about the the, the uh, um, ratio of the two 
normal derivatives at, the, at this point. And this is, in fact, the ratio of the uh, uh, product of the principal curvature, uh, one at one side and the, at the other side. Okay. Okay, this is uh, uh, an extremality condition. The con the, the, what I call the reflection law and has to be uh, compared with a very similar one that has been obtained by Caffarelli, Patrizia, and Kitalo, Kitalo on a, in, a, in this paper. And in this case, they, they found the, 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 the model was a bit different because instead of having cubic interaction at a, at a distance, they had quadratic interaction at a distance. Okay, in that case, the uh, uh, extremality condition was expressed by the fact that the, the ratio between the two, uh, between the, 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 the two boundary derivatives at corresponding points uh, x0 and, uh, and y0 were equal to the this uh, uh, this uh, um, uh, ratio of the geometry uh, if, uh, of the products of the principal curvature up and down in the two points. Okay, it is the same condition, but here we have the square, and here you don't have the square. Okay, uh, if if instead of of having a, 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 a uh, a unitary distance, uh, you allow this distance to become smaller and smaller, in the very end, you will fall on the usually po usual pointwise uh, quadratic or cubic interaction, okay? So you see that uh, if you don't put any distance, you will not see the different, a different behavior with respect, uh, when, you, when you switch from, uh, from cubic uh, to quadratic, uh, but if you put some distance, uh, you, will, you will see it. And this is, uh, I think, uh, interesting and should be somehow, uh, somehow uh, 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 deepened. Uh, it, it's a very difficult problem, but I think uh, that uh, it's worth uh, uh, going through. But let me just mention very rapidly uh, to an another problem, another result uh, that uh, concerns the very same problem, but uh, with different operators. What do, you, do we mean by different operators? That we have different matri matrices, uh, AI, uh, acting on different components, okay? The, the, these uh, matrices are very good, uh, constant coefficients, uh, positive, definite, symmetric matrices. And uh, again, you, uh, we, we can consider the, uh, the, 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 the reaction diffusion, uh, the competition diffusion associated and try to, uh, to, under, to, to, to see what happens uh, to the segregation uh, problem. And uh, again, uh, in this case, we, we, we treat this problem, okay, with different uh, matrices AI, uh, um, and, uh, oh, sorry, uh, with different ma matrices in the, in the elliptic operators, and uh, possibly, uh, and we try to treat uh, at the, in the same uh, uh, manner the case uh, when the, uh, the quadratic and uh, cubic cases, when Q is equal to one or two. Well, the first, uh, and in fact, our main result uh, is uh, that uh, there is, uh, uh, there are uniform bounds in elder spaces. Okay, and uh, this uh, is in fact um, a bit subtle because uh, there is uh, some, uh, uh, some exponent uh, alpha and there are bounds, uh, so not for any alpha between one, zero and one, but only up to some, some uh, so possibly small exponent. 
this is enough in any case to pass to the limit and find uh, some solution or some limiting profile okay of course this limiting profile will inherit it inherit the um, the elder continuity and uh, will have will be segregated okay and now and now let's see, see what happens let's uh, take q equal to one okay then so let's uh, stay in the quadratic uh, case with symmetric coefficients in this quadratic case with symmetric coefficients then the you let's take uh, only two components and uh, let's look uh, at the difference between the two uh, well in this case uh, the in the this uh, difference uh, solve in a weak sense uh, a quasi linear equation where beta of w is just uh, uh, is a is a ma matrix uh, that uh, switches from one uh, matrix to another when uh, w changes sign okay uh, then we can say uh, even more uh, we can say uh, something more of course uh, w is a uh, is older continuous for this uh, in, in uh, uh, range of exponents and uh, uh, we can say by applying results of anderson and michaelian mm -hmm that uh, uh, the, uh, the the zero set has uh, some let's say reasonable properties and uh, has uh, uh, sigma finite n minus one dimensional Hauser uh, measure and uh, uh, with respect to this uh, uh, the the the, uh, the the Hauser measure, then uh, uh, the, the the zero set is a C one alpha uh, graph. Uh, no, sorry, uh, mu. Sorry, mu is uh, the measure associated to the Laplacian of is the boundary is uh, the, the the boundary measure as uh, associated to the Laplacian of the negative part. Okay, so in this particular case, uh, when Q is equal to one, then uh, uh, U minus V enjoys some reasonable property. And in particular, we can find uh, an ex a reflection law, uh, the reflection law that uh, uh, about uh, the uh, gradient of two uh, interacting, uh, two interacting uh, um, components is a proportionality with respect a proportionality law with respect a reflection law with respect to the um, uh, the uh, 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 the weight uh, uh, given by uh, the scalar product of a nu by nu uh, what is and now I'm almost finished is uh, okay we we did this uh, in the case when q is equal to one and we found one reflection law again if we try to do the same at least uh, let's say uh, uh, in some with uh, in some circumstances then we find that, that uh, the reflection law changes okay this means uh, that uh, uh, you can see that the the, the uh, homeopathic uh, effect uh, of the law of the interaction law, whether it is uh, cubic or it is quadratic, uh, from the way that uh, the solution reflects uh, at uh, the boundary. This is uh, again in interesting because when A is uh, the identity, where there is no switch of the diffusion matrix uh, uh, across uh, the interface uh, the reflection law is just the equality of the gradients so here again we can embed this the problem uh, the, the the in a in a larger class of problems where there is indeed a difference uh, between uh, 
uh, the, the, the reflection loads. Okay, sorry. I have uh, talked too much. And this is, uh, uh, sorry, Maybe for your no. attention. No, 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 no. <laughs> <laughs> and thank you very much. Okay, okay, thank you. Uh, thank you, Professor Trasini, for her uh, very nice talk and a very interesting talk. Excellent. Uh, any questions or comments you can ask? Maybe I ask a question. Uh, uh, you mentioned the, for normalized solution at the beginning, you, uh, for normalized solution also have some uh, segregations or interactions for the related problem for normalized uh, solution. These were normalized solutions in the sense that uh, the minimization is made, the minimization of the energy is made, uh, sorry, this is at the very, very beginning. I have to in, at the beginning, you mentioned that. Yeah, you mean here? This normalization? Sorry, oh, yes, yes, yes. Have some, here. Have, yes, have some someone do some research on this uh, normalized solution for segregation or yeah, uh, well, there are many, many solutions, many research, recent research about normalized solutions of uh, or normalized uh, standing waves uh, mm -hmm. of uh, uh, of uh, uh, Schrodinger uh, equations. In fact, uh, uh, here I was just uh, uh, considering the effect of the uh, of the. Um, uh, growing of the growth of, of the uh, interaction uh -huh. coefficients uh -huh. beta ij going to infinity on the uh, occurrence of uh, segregation of the components. Uh, okay, so this here I was not uh, really, I didn't want to enter in, in this uh, uh, field, which is uh, uh, very interesting uh, uh, about uh, the existence and the properties of this. Uh, uh, normalized solution just saying that uh, there is a connection and uh, when you uh, consider when you for any reason you have a family of solutions of normalized solutions and you let the, the, inter the interaction uh, coefficient go to plus infinity yeah. then yeah. you end up uh, with a partition problem that has more or less uh, the same uh, 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 geometrical features of the interfaces uh, than the uh, other cases I discussed. So uh, this was uh, just uh, somehow a tangential uh, uh, mention, mention to uh, a related field. Yes, yes, thank you, but thank you, thank you. <laughs> yes, yes, thank you, thank you very much. Any, any questions, any more questions? Okay, if there is no uh, more questions, we thank the speaker, Professor Trasini again for his uh, very excellent talk. Thank you. Thank you very much and see you next thank week. You. See you. See you. Thank <laughs> you for the invitation. Thank you, thank you. Thank you very much. Thanks, Susanna.